Now moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to look at how we can develop our first APM test in uh, the IntelliJ IDEA ID using our APM project, which we have set up earlier. So let's go ahead and let's create our first test now. So I am already in our APM test project. And inside this, we have got the source uh, main and test folder. So we'll go to source test Java. Inside this, uh, we will go ahead and create our first Java class. And uh, we will call this first test. So it will basically create a Java class inside which we will write test using the test ng framework. Okay, so here, uh, what we need to do is first, we need to create an instance of our Android driver. So we'll see public Android driver, and then we'll create a driver. Okay, and now uh, we will use one of the annotations, which is in test ng, which is known as before test. Um, so in this before test, uh, what we will have is we will have a method called public void setup. Okay, and then uh, we will define our APM server URL here. So um, we'll say string, okay, because the type is string and then APM server URL, which is the variable. And here uh, we'll define the value, which is, we know the value, HTTP 127.0.0.1. And then we'll also provide the port here. 4723, okay? And the next thing which we require uh, before we start a session is the desired capabilities. So we'll create a um, variable for desired capabilities here. And then inside this, we will create a new instance of it. And then uh, we will add different capabilities here. Okay, so using dc.set capability, and first we need to provide a platform name. So we will do that. And that the value you can provide using comma. So here we'll say Android. So I will copy this uh, as we need three different capabilities. Okay. So we'll change um, the name and values here. So the second is APM and then automation name which is UI Automator 2. And the last one is the APM app. So this time around, we'll be starting a real application. And in the value, we need to provide a path, okay? So what we'll do is we will include uh, the application as part of our project so that uh, when you kind of uh, export the package, it will also include uh, your application, which you are testing. Okay, so I already have an application uh, which is known as API demos.apk. I will give the URL where you can download this particular demo application. It is also provided uh, by one of the APM developers. So you can download it for your own practice or testing. Okay, so uh, we are going to copy this. Okay, and uh, we will simply go ahead in our project. We will create another folder and uh, we will call it apps, okay? So here I'm going to create a directory. I'm going to call this apps. And inside this, I'm going to paste that particular API demos.apk, okay? So that's basically a file. Now I have got my application here. I just need to refer um, the path of this particular file in my code. Now what I can do here is I can right click on this and then um, I can select copy path reference and then I can um, select the absolute path here and I can paste it here, okay? But this is uh, not very relative in terms of it is very fixed. So if someone else wants to run this, it will not work, right? So instead of this, what we can do is uh, we can use something called relative path. So we will remove the static part and we will have this uh, slash apps slash the file name. And before this, we will also put something called system dot get property. Okay. 
inside this, uh, what we'll pass is user dot directory. Okay, and then we will concatenate it with this relative path. Now, what this will do is uh, it will uh, get the user directory. So no matter which user is using this, and then it will add or concatenate this uh, path into this user directory. So in total, it will provide you the absolute path of this particular file, okay? So now uh, it can refer to this particular path in order to get to this file. Now, once um, all the desired capabilities are defined, now we can start our driver session. So we'll say here driver equals to new Android driver. And inside this, uh, we will say new URL, okay? So that's one of the classes for URL, which can form a particular URL. And inside this, uh, we will say APM server URL, uh, which we have already defined. And um, along with that, we'll also provide the desired capabilities, okay? Now, uh, we also need to import this class here. So we'll say import class java.net. Okay, so it is a Java class. And for that, um, IntelliJ IDEA is also telling you to add exception to your method signature, okay? Or you can also surround it with try catch. There are two possible solution to this uh, particular error, which it is currently showing, okay? So we will add uh, the exception. So it throws a malformed URL exception in case your um, URL is not correct, okay? So it will throw this exception. So that completes our before test section, okay? And then at test. So this is basically the method which will run uh, as part of your test, okay? So again, we will create a method here called public void test. Inside this, uh, we will say driver dot find element, okay? Then we, here we need to provide the locator. And then uh, we will say something, uh, any method like the click method, okay? Now, um, let me first tell you the construct of this class and then we will go and we'll find the element, okay? Which we want to click on. Now, um, the final part is after test. This is another annotation. And here again, we will have another method. So we'll say public void close, which will basically close the driver. And here we'll say driver dot quit. Okay, so it will basically close that session. Uh, here it will open the session and here it will perform the test. Okay, so this is uh, the basic structure of a test ng uh, test. So first you will have some steps which you need to perform before you do any test. So in all our tests, we need the session. And then um, after you, um, do all the test or you run all the steps in your test, you uh, close the session in your after test method, okay? So it runs in a particular sequence. First, it will execute the before test, then it will execute the test, and then it will execute the after test. So that's basically uh, the framework, which is the test ng framework is doing for you. Now, finally, uh, we require to pass on the locator where we can identify that uh, element and then we can click on it. Now that we can do using uh, the inspector. So first we need to find the locator, right? And for that we need another capability. So again, the same capability which we defined in our code. So it is APM app. And then uh, we can go ahead and we can copy the absolute path and uh, we can paste it in our APM inspector. Okay, so this is the complete path for now. I will just leave it like that. And then um, I'm going to start the session. Okay, so this is the application API demos. Uh, you can see it has got some um, elements here. And then you can go into each uh, section and you will find some more um, items, okay? So that's basically the demo application which we'll be using for our testing. Now here uh, we need to perform uh, some activity or we need to click on some element. That's the first test which we are doing basically. 
So um, what we will do is we'll go ahead and we'll click on this accessibility link. OK, so I'm going to click on this. Um, I can see the app source here and then I can see the element locators right here. Now there are several uh, locators which I can use. Um, I will use the easiest one, which is the accessibility ID and uh, the value is accessibility, right? So uh, I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to say APM by, okay? So this is how you can get to a particular selector. So here we will be using one of the selectors, which is the accessibility ID, right? And we already have that particular value. So we have copied that and this is the value. So this is the locator and you can access it using this particular class, which is APM by. And then uh, you need to pass the value which you found from your inspector, right? So this is the unique value for this particular locator, which is the accessibility property of that particular element through which you can identify that element uniquely. So this is our basic test, which we are going to perform now. Um, and uh, we will start the session. We will click on this and then we'll close the session. Now, before we run this, uh, let's go ahead and close this particular session, which we have opened from the inspector. And uh, we will now start running this from our IntelliJ IDEA. So uh, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and uh, where we can view this uh, and our actual device. Okay, so I have opened my device. Here you can see it is going to the application and it has clicked on that particular accessibility link. It went inside. There you can again perform some more validations, but this was the basic test which we performed. We opened the application through the session and then we clicked on an element using a particular locator. And then we close the session. Um, the test has passed. If you have got any validations, it will also do those checks. But this is how you can um, start developing your first automation test using APM and test ng using different annotations of test ng. Uh, we can define um, different methods which uh, it can run in a particular sequence. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.